Hello everyone. Let's provide the solution to this problem. This is our equation one and this is equation two. Okay, now this is what I want us to do from equation one where we have square root of x plus square root of y equal to 7. Now I want us to square both sides. Square this and then we square this. Remember this is happening from equation 1, right? Then remember this standard. If you have a plus b and both of them are squared, then you will have a squared plus 2ab plus b squared, right? Okay, so because of that, from here now, a squared becomes square root of x. This will be squared, then plus 2ab, right? That means we have 2, then a is x, I mean root x, then b is um, root y, then plus here we have b squared which is root y squared okay then everything is equal to 7 squared which will be 49 now let's continue this we'll cancel this so we have x over there plus here now we're going to have 2 but then root x times root y will give us square root of um, x, y. Then plus the root and the square will cancel. So here we have y, which will be equal to 49. Now I want to rearrange this. So I have um, x plus y plus 2 square root of x, y equal to 49 but let's look at equation one again i mean equation two where we have square root of x y to be equal to 12 right okay square root of x y to be equal to 12 this is our equation two so now that i have x y here i'm going to replace it with um 12 so x plus y plus 2 into, in place of square root of xy, I'll write 12. And this is equal to 49. Now from here, x plus y is equal, okay, x plus y plus 24 is equal to 49. So that x plus y is equal to 49 minus 24 and from here our x plus y will be equal to you know um 25 right so we have 25 let's call this our equation 3 because we have equation 1 equation 2 already so we are now having equation 3 now let's go back to equation 2. Remember this still remains our equation 2. And from here we can square both sides. Let me bring it out again. Um, square root of xy equal to 12. If we square both sides then this can cancel this, right? Meaning that xy is now equal to 144 and the next thing I will do is to divide both sides by y divide this by y and divide this by y so that's from here y cancels itself and then x is equal to 144 um, over y and we can equally call this our equation 4 and now, the next thing I will do is to solve equation 3 
and equation 4 simultaneously. So let's get going. Okay, so <clears throat> if we are going to solve this simultaneously, then in place of x here, we substitute 1, 4 to 4 over y. So I'll have 1, 4, 4 over y plus y equal to 25. From here, we'll clear out the fraction, right? So that we have um, 1, 4 to 4 plus y squared equal to 25y. Now, there will be need for us to rearrange this so that we have 1, okay, let's write y first, so y squared, then minus 25y minus 1, 4 to 4 is equal to 0. Did I do that well? Okay, we have y squared. This comes here to become negative. So this is still here. It has to be positive, right? So this is what we have. And then from here, we have a quadratic equation that we can solve um, using the formula method. So for the formula, we have, um, we have y to be equal to minus b plus or minus. Then we have square root of b squared minus 4ac. And the whole of this is over 2a. Now, y now will be equal to minus b now will now be minus minus 25. Because b is 25, negative 25 rather, plus or minus. Then we have um, b squared there becomes minus 25 in bracket squared. Then minus 4 times 1 times c is 144. And then the whole of this will be over 2 times 1. Now, y is equal to 25. Negative, negative will give positive. Then plus or minus. Okay, so we have square root of... Square root, I mean the square of this will give us 625. Then minus... If you multiply this together, then you have 576. That is 4 times 1 times 144. The whole of this will be over 2. Let's continue, meaning that y is equal to 25 plus or minus. Subtracting this will give 49. Then we have this over 2. Okay, so y is equal to, from here now, we have y to be 25 plus or minus, square root of 49 is 7, and this will be over 2. Let's continue with this. From here now, we have our y to be equal to 25 plus 7, okay, 25 plus 7 over 2, or on the other side, we have y to be 25 minus 7 over 2. Okay, so y is now equal to, if you put this together, then you're going to have 32, right? So we have 32 over 2. Or on this side, we have, um, subtracting this will give us 18 over 2. Let us continue. So that's from here. Y will be equal to this divided by this will give 16. Or on this side, we have um, 9, right? So this means that Y is either 16 or 9. But remember that we are still looking for the value of X and Y. So from here, we should be able to have the corresponding values of x. Okay, I'm going to do this in two ways now. x, I mean y is equal to 16 
or 9. Now, if you can recall our equation 3, we had x plus y to be equal to 25. Then we have x plus y equals 25. Okay. Now, if x, if y is equal to 16, then x plus 16 is equal to 25. And if y is equal to 9, then x plus 9 is equal to 25. Okay? Let's do this very quickly. And this means that our x from here is equal to 25 minus 16. And then x from here is equal to 25 minus 9. Okay, so this means that x from here is equal to 9 and then y from here is equal to 16. Now, what are we saying? We are saying that when, when um, y is equal to 16, x is equal to 9. And on the other, on the other side, when y is equal to okay sorry this is supposed to be x because we are looking for x on the other side when y is equal to 9 then x is equal to 16 so these are the two values that will satisfy the equation which is um square root of x plus square root of um plus square root of y equals 7 and then square root of x y equals 12. So you can confirm and put these values into this yourself. Thank you for watching.